This tutorial will show you how to make a network diagram, which is a simple way to visualize the technological architecture of a network you're using or building. Network diagrams are great to include in your documentation because they're so easy for both technical and non-technical stakeholders to quickly understand. In this tutorial, we're using Gliffy, which is an easy to use app available in Confluence, Jira, and online. You can learn more about Gliffy through the info linked in the upper right, or you can find a link to start a free trial in the video description. In Gliffy, I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm going to select the network diagram shapes from this Create a New Diagram panel. What this does is it preloads all the shapes you need to make a network diagram into this side panel here. I can also select network diagramming shapes by clicking the more shapes button and making sure that the network shapes here are checked. So this is another way that you can access all those shapes. We actually have multiple options for you to choose from. I like this more modern style of shapes, but there is this three dimensional shape set as well. So I'm going to click OK to get back to my drawing board. Now, all I need to do is start dragging and dropping out the shapes that represent the routers and the servers that I have in my network. So I'm going to grab the router. And let's say I have a few servers in this network. Drag those out. The green lines that you see appearing are guidelines, so they're helping me keep everything lined up neatly. Here's my Wi-Fi router. And then I'm going to say I have a few wired clients. And when I drag these shapes out, I can start typing immediately to give them a label as well. All right. I can copy this shape by selecting it and holding Option to drag out an additional one. So I want to show that we have multiple of these. And then I'm also going to have some wireless devices to include too. So I'm going to drag those out as well. Here's a tablet. And then let's say I've also got an office printer. All right, so these shapes represent everything in my network. One thing I want to do to keep myself organized is group my wireless clients together. So I'm going to select each of these and then click this group button up here. And now I can move them all around together. And I'm going to get these out of the way for now. And then I'm going to group my wired clients as well. Make sure that they are all aligned and grouped. Looks great. In addition to grouping these, I think it'd be helpful to draw a container around them. So to do that, I'm going to select this rectangle tool draw a rectangle over the top. I'm going to stylize it how I want with a border and maybe a super light blue color. And then I'm going to click this button to send it behind those shapes. And then I can adjust the size as well. I think that looks good. I'm going to ungroup these three shapes and regroup all these together. And then I'm going to give this a label wireless clients and put the type at the top on that one. Great. Let's do the same thing for our servers here too. So I'm going to draw a rectangle around it, send it to the back, and we can adjust the size. I'm going to label this servers and put the type at the bottom. All right, and then I'm going to select all of these and group that one as well. All right, so I've got this stuff grouped pretty well. Now I'm going to get everything organized. So I'm going to start with the router. I'm going to put this kind of in the middle of where I want my diagram to be because everything's going to stem off of that router. And let's do the wireless clients first. So I'm going to put the wireless right above it. 
and then we'll move the wireless clients above that. Let's select all of these and bring it down. And I'm going to put the printer up here as well because the printer is probably a wireless printer too. Now the wired clients over here are going to connect to the router, so I'm going to move them a little closer down to this router area. And then the servers will connect to that router as well. Now I'm going to start connecting all of these. I'll use the connector toolbar up here. And you can see that you are connecting to a main point on the shape when this green circle appears. So I'm just going to draw in the lines that I need. This will connect to each of the clients. And then we have the servers connected to the router and the router connected to the wireless. All right, that looks all right. I'm gonna make some adjustments here just to make this look a little bit nicer. All right, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. One thing that I want to do though is show that these connections are hardwired and these connections are not. So I'm gonna change the style of this line by clicking the line, clicking on this line properties icon and editing the style to be this dashed style. And I think this just does a better job of showing that it's a wireless connection. I might also want to make these lines a light gray. So I'm gonna select both of them and then I can do that here. All right, now last let's drag in a cloud to represent the internet because ultimately this connection will jump up to the internet. And I want a firewall between these. Now this is the firewall icon, but let's just imagine that for whatever reason I can't find it. At the top of this shapes panel, I can search shapes and I can type in firewall and it will pull up options of firewall icons for me. Some of these are from specific services. So here I'll drag in that firewall. I think it's weird that it's blue, so I'm going to make it red. And I will connect this into my router as well. I'm going to restyle this to show that it is a wired connection just like everything else with the solid line. And then that connects to the internet. That's everything you need to know to make a network diagram. When you're done, you can save and share your network diagram, or you can add always up-to-date links by embedding your diagram in other popular workplace tools like Slack, Trello, and more. Gliffy is packed with powerful features just like that to help you build out network diagrams your team will actually use.